for the finish of this. Oh, it's be close. disaster oh, no. for the 17 of Brian Sellers. Fifth position wow. in GT, and he has gone off uh, on the far side of the circuit at the exit of the kink. As you approach the kink, it's already a little bit of a hairball corner. It's super fast, uh, so kind of any any mistakes are not received well through there. Worst place that you could have a failure on this racetrack. You know, everything happens so quickly, it's, it's hard to kind of say what goes through your mind. I know at one point in my head, the first thing was, oh, this is not good. And, you know, it's about that time that you realize it's not good, that it's already too late, and, you know, you're headed towards the wall. Um, you know, but it's kind of a never, never say die attitude. You know, you fight it all the way to the end and hope for the best. But um, everything happens so quickly. You know, you're very aware of what happened, when it happened, um, and what caused it. But you know, from start to finish, the, the details get lost pretty quickly. And just checked in with Derek Walker, the program manager for Team Falcon Tire. He said that's exactly what happened. It was a tire that went down. The problem here at Road America, even though the cars do run live telemetry, is that the track is over four miles long. And Brian was on the back side of the track, so they did lose telemetry. Brian radioed into the team. He said, I feel like I have a tire going down, but the team could not see it. He was on his way into pit lane, so it was just wrong place, wrong time being on the back side of the circuit. So Team Falcon Tire, their day is done.